Hey, so here's your starter and it's to do the functional notation. So again, you're used to seeing tables like this, but normally it's y equals something and then you replace what x is and you find out what y is. So it's the same principle. So think of what your function is, you're feeding a value in for x and you're seeing what the formula outputs it as. Okay, so right now x is minus 1, so we now say minus 1, subtract another 1, that gives you minus 2. If we feed 1 into it, that just means 1 minus 1, that's 0. Feed 3 into it, 3 minus 1 is 2, that one's 6, and that one 10 is 10. And it's the same with these ones. So 1 minus 3, that's minus 2. That one, 2 minus 3 is minus 1. 4 minus 3 is 1. That's 2. And that is 5. Go further down. So it's minus minus 2 plus 3. So minus minus 2 turns it into a 5. Sorry, it turns it into 2. And that just means that's a 5. Turns that into a 1. So that's 4. That's minus 1 plus 3, all right, so that's 2, minus 2 plus 3, and minus 3 plus 3 is 0. Then we've got 1 minus x, x is minus 1, so 1 minus minus 1, so that's 1 plus 1, that's 2, 1 minus 0 is Still 1, 1 minus 1 is 0, 1 minus 2 is minus 1, and 1 minus 4 is a minus 3. Okay, so that's your answers for the first four. Now, this is actually taken from the year 2015, so this is your last national five. And what it's saying is here's a function, and they're saying that, well, given that f of a, so the fed and the value a into it, what is a actually equal to? So if we rewrite this out again, so we can say f of a actually equals, and so instead of x you see an a, so that equals 3a plus 2. We, we're told f of a also equals 23. So what we can now say is, well, if they equal the same, these obviously equal the same, so we can now say 3a plus 2 equals 23, don't know what's wrong with this pen, and then we can work out what a is. So subtract 2 from each side, that gives us 3a equals 21 divide each side by 3 and that gives you a equals 7 and that's your final answer.